This is the best of show called Harmony Within by Sue McCarty. And this is an incredible piece of stitchery. If you want to take a very close look here, there's hardly any piecing. Almost everything is created by very tiny, very exquisitely detailed machine embroidery. Take a look at the flowers on the tree here. The calligraphy has been painted with glitter paint. But if you look in here, the trapunto is created by gold metallic. And also the trapunto in the circles. Here we have some beautiful swirly embroidery to create the cranes. And the reflection on the water is also all created with thread. And the overall design is one of harmony and symmetry. Just beautiful. Congratulations. So I'm here with Sharon Chamber and she has won the Innovative Artistry Prize for her beautiful red and white quilt. Would you like to tell us a little bit about the inspiration for your quilt? Um, well, I love the Florida de Lee plat pattern mm -hmm. and I've used it many times but I wanted to use it again in, in the reds and the golds. Mm. And red and white is really a trend this year after that red and white show. Did you happen to see that show? I did not, no. Wow. No, I've been working on this for two years, so. So you were a trendsetter before uh, it happened. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's great. It's my, fa my favorite combination. It's oh, gorgeous. So. I'm really interested in this technique that mm -hmm. you used in the border, and I wonder if you could tell us about this and some of the other techniques you've used. Oh, absolutely. Um, this is filigree work, mm -hmm. and it actually comes from the 40s and 50s and Victorian clothing. Mm. I was a clothing designer prior to my quilting career, mm. so I studied, I was actually a couture designer, mm. so I studied all of the Victorian clothing and all of the 30s and 40s, you know, the fine suits, yes. and they would inset these hand-turned little uh, pipings into the suits and in the yokes in the Victorian and braid it, so I brought that into the quilt world. Wow. That Great, that's very innovative too. And can you tell us a little bit about some of the techniques here? Um, I use machine applique, and then I actually set up my machine. I fabricated a foot that set a pearl, black pearl cotton in as I was doing the applique. So everything's outlined with black pearl cotton. And I also use bobbin work, which is the whole quilt top, just the top was turned over, and I free motioned all of the pearl cotton right here. And that's actually a rayon. Oh, I it's see. It's not a cotton, but it is a rayon. Uh -huh. And that technique comes from what they call re-embroidered lace, is what they use on bridal gowns. They would re-embroider that lace to make it more dimensional. Mm. And that technique came from that also. That's great. I love seeing couture techniques woven yeah. into the quilts. Yes. And you've won some other big prizes here, too. Yes. Uh -huh. What are the other prizes? Well, I've won three best in shows here. Incredible. And, and this one, and, and I actually competed for about 10 years here and won first, seconds, and honorable mention for many years. So yeah. you're a diva of the industry. I Well, I don't <laughs> consider myself a diva, but, but I'm definitely an artist. You're yes. a humble diva, but you're an incredible artist. Oh, thank you. This gorgeous quilt is made by Marguerite Heinisch. It's called Mi Amor. And this is one of the trends that I am watching here. More than ever before, I'm seeing quilts that are very symbolic and are made for someone special. And this was made for Marguerite's daughter, who was celebrating her 25th wedding anniversary. And what really caught my eye was yet another trend that's going on right now in the industry, both in fabric and quilts, and that is the motif of peacocks. Here we see a gorgeous embroidered and stitched peacock, and it looks like it's been painted too. And right next to it is the most beautiful applique, and it looks like trapunto heart with very Art Nouveau swirls. And I think Art Nouveau is another art influence that we see going on in quilts and in the industry right now. This haunting piece by Karen Price shows a memory about her great aunt who married in early 1959 and in September her husband died and this is a memory of him. Take a look at the beautiful overlapping appliqued red leaves. Karen Hugler made this very interesting piece. I like it because it's one of your favorite color combinations. E-quilter customers really love Asian fabrics and especially red and black. But look at the technique on the feathers here. It's not stitched down, it's just cut out very exactly and left to flutter in the wind. 
This gorgeous floral applique quilt is called Euphoria by Deborah Kimball from Santiago, Chile. And last night I spoke with Deborah just after she had come to the preview, and she told me that the flowers in this quilt were from E Quilter, and they're actually silk dupioni along with cotton, all hand appliqued. Gorgeous, isn't it? I especially wanted to show you this piece by Megan Farkas because she won the Future of Quilting Award with this Japanese theme piece. You know, at eQuilter we really specialize in batiks and Asian fabrics. In fact, when we started in my basement of my house, that's all we had. 300 bolts of Asian fabrics and batiks. And I think I see some things that we possibly might have sold Megan before she made this award-winning quilt. Take a close look at the ECOT insets in this piece by Brigitte Morgenroth from Germany. Also, one of the very favorite fabrics that we have at eQuilter are yarn dyes and especially ECOTs. And this was made from an old silk Russian kaftan that Brigitte collected. This collage piece by Susan Carlson is a first place winner and it's been a real crowd pleaser here at the Houston Quilt Festival. It just happens to have all of these fabulous fabrics that we carry at eQuilter that are imported from M&S Fabrics, all imported Australian fabrics, so we are especially pleased to see that she won first place. I love this piece by Linda Hibbert. She's from Loveland, Colorado, but I want to talk about this technique that we are seeing more and more. It is fusible raw edge applique, but before perhaps we were seeing it in flowers and animals. Now we're seeing it used actually for the fur and the feathers on the animals, for instance. We always love to see what Carol Breyer Fowler does at the show, and although she won an award the other night for a sports theme piece, here's a gorgeous buckeye butterfly with lots of close-up details. Hello to our friends in Australia, and we'd like to feature this piece by Helen Godden, where she is depicting the black swans of Western Australia. What I really love is the multicolor metallic thread that is swirling and looping over and over again. Check out the jewel tone colors in this mixed technique quilt by Claudia and Marilyn. It's called Crown Jewel. And we'll take a real close look here at the embroidery, the silk dupioni mixed in with the cotton, the trapunto. and the little crystals that are sparkling on top of it. Just for fun, we've got to include this piece by Carol Swindon. It shows almost a photographic image of a 1959 Cadillac with all kinds of techniques, applique, and even painting on top. Can you see the details? Here's another symbolic quilt by Melinda Beulah. She made this beautiful piece for her son when he graduated from Marine Boot Camp. Says it all, don't you think? Here's a great illustration of how the trend of purple is infusing into the show. We have two quilts here that are expressing the color of purple in very different ways. This piece by Suzanne Reggio, A Tumble of Roses, has stencils and metallic outlined roses that have shadows and also highlights of these images. Luella Morgenthaler made this quilt, Iris Ballet, which also has a purple theme. And I just had to mention it because she's from Boulder, Colorado, and we have a very beloved iris farm, and we have a whole street that's named after the iris farm, which I drive on every single day to get into town. And this is a wonderful, uh, really exquisite, but very contemporary textured rendering of that iris garden with the purple. <laughs> 